Oh boy, time now for another episode of Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics. And continuing on with the Black Hood, we have this little detour of Roy, Roy and Dusty in Boy Buddies. They so got these two guys. He's about to rack himself, or he wants to hump the signpost, and then. Yeah, look at this one, huh? Yeah, and then you got this creepy old dude staring at them. Yeah, this has the potential to be one of the worst episodes of Sunday Comics, but anyway. Gee, you can't see a thing in this blackout. Oops, sorry, ma'am. Nobody could see us either. That'll keep us out of trouble. Yeah, who did this? W.M. Pagoda? Is that Abe Pagoda's brother? Uh, anyway, uh, there's a good show at the Bijou. We'd better hurry if we want to beat the blackout. So, okay, they're a, they're a couple. Anyway, that fellow up there had better get ready or else he'll find himself caught at the window with his lights on. Yeah, this is during the war, you know. They're supposed to conserve energy, turn the lights off, and all that. But anyway, you've got to be after the, you've got to be after those people all the time. Very careless. You thought it. See, it looks like the trees are talking. But anyway, suddenly, help! Hey, that was a scream coming from that house. It looks like the Boy buddies, had better look into this. So anyway, a rapid change then. There's someone running out. Super Zane. What's the hurry, mister? Oh, no. Thank you meddling fools. Take that. Bop. <laughs> now, where's the other? Right behind you, dope. Oh, where was I? Suddenly, you'd better worry about where you're going. What's that? E we e. It's the blackout. All the lights have gone out. He's gone. I can't see him. But he's laughing, so you should be able to follow that. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> How are you, Roy? I'm okay, just stud. Let's have a look in here. Oh, John. Sob, sob. You're dead. Dead. I suggest you lie down a bit, madam. I'll call the police. No, sob. I want to be near John. Murder. Might as well see what we can do before the police come. Who are you? <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh, don't be alarmed, Bab. We're here to help you. Just tell us everything you know. My husband was on his way to Washington with secret war plans. He had stepped in here for his coat, and when he didn't come out, I looked in and saw him sob like this. Sob. Ah, uh. oh, jeez, he's really starting to stink. Anyway, was there anyone in this house besides the butler before this happened? Well, there was an old friend of my husband, Professor Wolf, but he would never do a thing like this. They were childhood friends. He left early to avoid the blackout. Well, how about you? Were you at the? Where were you at the time of the murder? M -m -m Me? Why, I was in my room getting ready for the blackout. How do we? Oh, how do we know you're telling the truth? What right have you to question me? You're only kids. The sirens herald the end of the blackout. Don't worry, Bab. We'll find your husband's better. I looked at the dead man's watch. It stopped at 8 o'clock, right before the blackout. Let's see what Professor Wolf has to say. <laughs> Jeez. That's his place across the street. 
Say, this house looks familiar for some reason. Room 402, this is it. He Hello? Who's there? Don't be alarmed, Professor Wolf. Professor Wolf. Sounds like a villain name, doesn't it? Well, anyway. I would just like to know where you were at the time of John Stark's murder. Murdered? John dead? He was killed at 8 o'clock. You were an old friend of his, weren't you? John murdered? How horrible. Who did it? Uh, excuse me, but I'm really distracted by your beard hanging over the panel. And there it is. Well, how's that happen? Never mind. I'll help in any way I can to bring the fiend to justice. John was my friend and colleague since our college days and maybe a little more. Well, whoever did the killing didn't entirely get what he was after, Professor. The most important part of the plans is still in the possession of Mrs. Stark. Yeah, great going letting that out. Later at their apart their apartment. Uh-huh. We seem to be up against the stone wall. What do we do now? Say, how about getting in touch with the shield? He could check on the butler and the professor for us. Good idea, Roy. Oh, so the other one said it. Well, whatever. Good idea, Roy. Hello, S.H.I.E.L.D. We've got a case here, and we'd like some information on these fellows. Yeah, as soon as possible. Later. That's the S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. <laughs> What's with these people? <laughs> Why are you doing... <laughs> he bangs his head against the corner of the panel. Yeah, I got it. That's it. Right. All down. Thanks so long. Take a look at this, Dusty. Charles Schmidt Butler. Former Austrian boxer. Son of a bi Oh, son of naturalized German parents. The Bund Connections. Good reference from New York. Uh, uh, employment agency Professor Wolf studied at Oxford has received global prize for inventions of secret gun with fellow associate John Stark last heard was um, um, uh, plotting further test hmm. studied at Oxford eh but Mrs. Stark told me her husband went to Yale uh and the professor told us they were classmates, remember? Right. We'll see who's lying soon. So they burst through his door. <laughs> uh, there he is at the window. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Professor Wolf, holy smoke. The, I mean, Professor Wolf, holy smokes, the guy's dead. Yes, he's been dead for some time. You would have seen him. In fact, had you looked into the Closet before. <laughs> I'm very familiar with closets and I... Am I seeing things? Twins? Who are you? <laughs> Again, he's off the... <laughs> what? I get it. You killed the professor, disguised yourself as him, and tried to uh, worm the plans out of Stark. Precisely. But the fool was stubborn. I had to kill him too, as I shall you too. First, this fear gas. Fish. I don't know. Later. I, okay, he's got him tied up. I, hmm. As soon as I get the... Oh, as soon as I get the rest of the plans, I shall return to finish you off. <laughs> oh, fighter shining, whatever. Uh, that rat isn't as clever as he thinks. We'll get out of here a lot quicker than he figured on. I see the same thing you're looking at, Roy. First, get this red hot poker. Or poker red hot, whatever. <laughs> and the rest is obvious. We've got to get to the house before he does any harm. Come on, dog, get up. The masquerade. Oh, wait. No, uh, is that? I don't know. The masquerade is over, Mrs. Stark. I killed your husband. Now give me the other half of the plans I took. 
You two get in my hair. Are you... Oh, wait. That's the butler. Oh, yeah. Are you sure the hair is yours, Hans Burkhart? Ooh! Hans Burkhart? Say, who are you, Mr. Butler? I'm Jan Joe Jones, secret government operative impersonating the real butler. I've been watching this phony. He's a Nazi spy. Killed the real Professor Wolf. He almost slipped through my hands. But thanks to you lads, his spying days are over. Well, I guess it's time for us to leave, Roy. Whatever happened to that picture we were going to see? So they're off for their date. Next week on Mr. Sun... I mean, Mr. Jeez, I'm sorry. I am dead tired from work. But anyway, next time <laughs> on Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics, we'll take a look at another adventure of the Black Hood in Pogo's Last Trick. I'm guessing that's Pogo. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's what you can expect next time on Mr. Nelson's Sunday Comics.